Hi there, my name is Charles Wonsfani Msipa. Welcome to another Tangenzi presentation of mathematics. Our topic today is Laplace Transform. We are looking at uh, state space representation uh, using the approach of uh, obtaining uh, observable canonical form. So, in this case, I'm going to use the similar problem which I, I we uh, used before for doing this, but my approach here, we're going to, I'm going to use a quick approach which we call obtaining state space presentation via inspection. Then later, in the later presentation, I will try to derive it so that you can see the logic or at least where this uh, method of inspection is derived from. So let's start by reminding us source of the problem. The problem was as follows. Consider a system represented by the following differential equation and all initial conditions are zero. We recall that we, we use the, the Platinum form of derivatives to derive the transfer function g of x which we ended up with looking as follows. Again here, I'll repeat with that when the poles of a um, transfer function are on the left-hand side of the complex plane, the system is stable. I will also want to encourage you to go and look at the conditions which are under which the system is marginally stable and uh, when do we say the system is unstable? I think from what we have said, we, we should, uh, it should be easy to determine this, and those are the conditions you must uh, actually always keep in mind. You must know when the system is stable, when is it much more stable, and when is it unstable. Now, so having obtained this uh, transfer function, We've got it as follows. Now to determine our state space representation, which as we know should look like x dot equals to some matrix A multiplied by the state space vector plus some vector B multiplied by the input and our output uh, x will be some column vector transposed multiplied by, by x, which is the state space vector. So to obtain this in a quick way using the method of uh, inspection, as I said before, this is a quick method, but uh, later I will uh, explain how we derive it logically, which justifies what we do here. So what what happens is we're going to declare this coefficient here as B0 and the coefficient of S here as B1. And in two meter, we're going to have this as A0 and um, this one is A, A1. So to represent this now, we're going to have uh, in matrix form, we're going to have x here, which is uh, x dot, which is equals to some matrix multiplied by the state space vector, which in this case is going to be a, a vector with two components plus uh, some vector, column vector, B, which is also going to be two component vector multiplied by u of t. So as it is what we're going to do here, we're going to have here minus a0 minus uh, a1 and 1 and 0. In this case here, we're going to have uh, B0 and B1. 
be one. That's what how the that's going to come about, and then our x would be one zero multiplied by this take x vector x one x two. So in this particular case of our problem, what will happen is we're going to have here x dot, which is actually x one dot x two dot um, equals two. In this case, our a zero is six with the minus six minus seven and one and zero. And then we have here a column vector x one x two. So this is supposed to be x two here and plus our b which is going to be plus two vector which is going to be called to p0 p0 plus column vector a which is going to be p0 in this case p0 is 3 1 multiplied by the input function so then our x it's going to be exactly as we've seen here, x will be equals to 1, 0, multiplied by the state space vector, which is x1 and x2. So if we note what we've got here, we've got exactly what we've got here, which is x prime equals to some a, by column vector multiplied by some vector b u t and then our x equals to some transpose column vector multiplied by x then this one would have we have achieved to represent the system in this state space representation called observable observable canonical form. At this point, I would like to urge you to continue this kind of practice. And later, in the later presentation, I'm going to give you a logical derivation of this approach so that you can see that it's a sound method to, to use. Others for now, thank you for listening.